All right. Today's agenda. Try to get this column locked up here. I'm gonna put it at so my whole plan is to put these in here like so. And then we'll see if that works. Let's check that out and see. I'm not sure. I think it might though. And then once I get these in, once I get these all tacked in the place where they belong. Then I'm gonna take and I think I'm gonna do another bar from here out to here, just as a little extra support, just because it is the column. It's got a little bit of pressure on it when you're turning, so might be overkill, but I'm gonna try it. Let's see what happens. It might work. Might not. Okay. It's still straight. Look straight still. Alright. Tack right here. So everything right now is just all tacked in place. There's none of this that's welded complete yet. Just in case something happens or don't work, I can knock it right back out really quick. You don't have to worry about doing a whole bunch of cutting and grinding and all that good stuff. So, let's get this one where it belongs. Just gonna cut off a bit. All right. Where that one belongs, it looks like it. All right, let's give that one a whirl. those two right there tacked into place now thinking about doing something like this on each side kind of makes it like a sign holder then I guess you want to say or something bench shelf so maybe something like that will work, you know what I mean? Grind that down on each side like that. That'll give me a little something extra. And then I think what I might do is I might do an X-brace on it. Get that in there on each side. And then maybe I'll come back up off of it into this upper bar. I gotta watch out because my dash on the bottom. You're gonna see, you might be able to see it. You can see where it comes in. See how this right here steps in. That's what I gotta watch out for. And I'm gonna have my gauges here, here, and little ones on each side. So I don't want anything interfere behind here. So it doesn't, doesn't mess me up any. But I wanna have plenty of strength on my column. Might be a little overkill, may not be, but I'm trying. So, let me get these bars right here made for each side. And then we'll uh, get those tacked in. All right, 
So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll be back. Right after that, we can get all this all tacked up in there. Got my pieces cut. I'm going in here like this. Just like that right there. Straight as I can. They don't have to be perfect. But I do want them decent. Okay. Go down a little bit that one. So right there. That one. All right. I'll do the same right here on this side. Take a little bit more on the right angle. Yeah, right there, right. I'm gonna take a little bit more out of that. Just so it might fit flush a little bit more. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. And then we'll be back again. All right, got that now. So now, so that's gonna go right there, like that. Make sure I'm straight in here. Be right here, right? Right there. Hold it, there we go. Right there, right? Right there. Okay. That should hopefully stiffen it up a little bit more. And then, like I said, I might come up off of here to here, maybe. There's a little extra. I mean, I would come here to here. Like I said, what I showed you earlier with that drop in here, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna hit it. So, all this right here is gonna have more glue on it. This polybond, it's gonna go in behind it. So I got hit it with 40 grit sandpaper. All this in here, all that's gonna be polybonded. Every piece of that's gonna be polybonded to the fiberglass, all the way around. So, Definitely be plenty strong, I'm hoping. Should be. Guess we'll find out if the column falls out of it going down the road or something, huh? Hope not. So, all right, let me get the measurement here to here on both of these. See what I need, I'll get them cut out. Get those put in. And then I'm gonna put a flat piece of metal here to here, which is, Right here, just a piece of the eighth inch. What I'll do is I'm gonna tack that under here. Cause that's where my column drop will bolt to this eighth inch right here. And then 
and I made myself enough gap in between these. So in worst case scenario, if I'm not 100%, like once I get the interior, the seat completely in it or whatnot, what I'm using, that if I have to, I have enough room that I move my column this way an inch or that way an inch. So that's why, like I said, if I'm not 100% right now, I still have a little bit of lead room for adjustment. I'm not making it to where I'm at right now and that's it, I'm stuck there. I wanna make sure I got some kind of adjustment room to play around with, because I'm not a leveled center from here all the way up. And that's what I got my measurement from, from my column. And then that's how I brought it back to me with my mock-up seat. Felt comfortable where I got it. But like I say, just in case not, left myself some lead way here just to play around with. So, all right, yeah. let me get these two mocked up and then we'll get on those then. piece of steel cut now. Let's see how this is going to work up in here. I'm going to go right here like that. Alright. I think what I want to do is my center mark on here and I'll take it back out and drill my holes my column drop so I don't have to do it upside down in here so I'm gonna go drill these holes real quick and then we'll get this all welded up in there or packed in there and then we'll put our column in I know some of those videos like this is probably like watching paint dry, but I looked all over YouTube for videos about people putting metal inside of these things. And I cannot find a video anywhere on YouTube about anybody doing this stuff. Like a, they'll show you the aftermath of it when they're done or something like that. But I've never seen anything like this. This right here to me, this is all guessing work. This is just looking at pictures on Google I could find or whatnot to get ideals. So, that's so why it's all trial and error with me too. But I do believe that this is going to work. I mean, that's a pretty nice bridge right there we got going on. Like I said, all of this will be poly, poly bonded up here also. Everything in here will be poly bonded once I'm done with this and get it fully welded. Poly bond will be my last thing. So, once that's in here, this bar right here, you'll, you'll have to break the body to get it back off or once I poly bonded to it. So... That's extra support also on top of everything I'm doing here. So, let me get these holes drilled out. And then I'll tack that plate up in there and we can get her going from there. And then we'll see what happens. And here's what I was talking about where my dash dipped in. I did figure out a way to get those in. I put the dash in, put the bars up in behind it. And kind of just tacked them in there where they're at. So, I'll right, back. Drop in place now.
Seems like it fits well. I just got a hose clamp down here for right now. That will just try to keep me from sliding through firewall the best I could for right now. So, but that's it. it seems like it's going to work. Right so, it's pretty much the gist of it. We just bolts to the top here, obviously. Next on the agenda will be 
finish welding everything up since I got this all mocked up and then polybonding the dash in and all the rest of this structure in here. So that'll be in my next video. So like I always say, like, subscribe, share, whatever, every little bit helps. So go ahead and do that for me if you would please. And I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.